Hi, Scott Orling with Cinema Magazine. For all you young thieves out there, we have the new <laughs> documentary called Ocean's 8. And three of the experts are going to be here to tell you what to do next. Sarah Paulson, Mindy Kaling, and Anne Hathaway. So it's always said diamonds are a girl's best friend. How true is that? Very true. <laughs> Definitely true of this movie. Yeah, definitely true of this movie. Except for Annie had to wear that necklace, which was incredibly heavy. So I don't yeah, know how much it was a friend to, to your neck. I mean, it was kind of red. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but also, like, not to get cheesy about it, but girls are a girl's best friend in this movie, yeah, too. Yeah, that's true. Talk about that, because I was asking your colleagues the same way that, you know, in, in the olden days of Hollywood, there used to be, it was so female-centric. Mm -hmm. And we kind of have lost a little of that. And the empowerment of women that we see in a movie like this, how... How, how fun was it for you, and how important of a statement as it is for young eight-year-old girls out there mm -hmm. who are watching mm -hmm. of what's possible? I think it's really important. You know, in addition, look, the, let's just get one thing out of the way. It's a comedy. It's a heist movie. Caper, it's an Ocean's yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. And it's fun, and it's great. And it happens to be coming out at a moment in which we are examining issues of gender, race, and class. And so when you're talking about is it good for an eight-year-old girl, Anytime you have been part of an underrepresented community and you can visually see yourself um, doing something in a way in, for, from a character that's dimensional and human, I think it's a really positive thing. And uh, you, one of your co-stars is probably one of the biggest pop stars in the world. Who do you, so who I was you, wondering, who you? I'm not sure. Nora? <laughs> Nora is a very famous Can you talk a little bit about the music on set? How much did it bring, well, you obviously sing as well, how much did it bring out the musicality of the shooting? Well, it brought out my tone deafness, is what it brought out, because I'm not a singer, but I couldn't stop uh, wheeling it around in my head. And then to anyone but Rihanna, I was constantly like, why can't I not get these songs out of my head? You know, but I didn't. <laughs> well, I didn't. Rihanna's last album had come out a couple months before yes, we shot. Right. And I just didn't realize how often I would just be like, yeah. work, 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 yeah, work, yeah. work, until I was sitting right next to her. I was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, <Yeah. laughs> this day, oh my God, is that a pretzel? <laughs> like, you know, you just like, I, and I felt bad about it. I just, just kept coming It was out. hard for me to remain cool. I okay, don't I, think I succeeded. Hopefully you can have fun with this. It's flight of fantasy. If you were given the opportunity to steal something, you would get away with it. Mm -hmm. What would be the one thing that you would lust after, your eyes would be searching for, that I would love to own that? Mm, a thing. It could be anything. Uh, Adele's voice box. Ooh. That's nice. That's take, really good. I'd really like to take that. After seeing the royal wedding, and like I'm very obsessed with her entire lifestyle, I would love a big piece of like the joy she wore in that tiara. <laughs> I want like another one. Something like that. I want all of Ellen DeGeneres' furniture. Mm. Mm. She's got the best furniture. It's really the true. best furniture. Really and, good taste. Um, yeah. Oh, so good. And such good quality. Anyway, sorry. It's like her homes are like museums. I'm shutting up now. Is it fun to play an actor in a movie, even though you're an actor? It is. It was really fun because um, I, when you meet people and you're and you're a recognizable person. Usually, the first thing you meet is their idea of who you are. Like, like they they're they're talking to that person, and so I've gotten a really good education about what people think actors are really like and celebrities are really like, and some of it's so out there. Mm -hmm. And so it was really fun to get get to play on that, you know. Thank you for sharing who you three are, and <laughs> congratulations Thank on the you. movie. And this is Scott Orland. Till next time. Thank you.